Uh, thank you, Presiding Officer. Reviewing the given draft budget, we must ask if this plan will increase sustainable economic growth, and I believe it will. Goals are necessary considerations. Money allocation can be a simple mathematical process, one that perhaps even could be assigned to a computer. We know that uh, the budget has a certain tightened amount of money to work with, but with a constant number of areas that require funding. Unless we take Professor Kay's recommendation and just pick uh, winning areas, and that's not in alignment with the government's approach. And in relation to what Professor Kay said on broadband uh, simply being uh, for uh, people getting films over the internet, I would say, Professor Kay, look at my constituents and other rural areas where increasingly you have to interact on the internet or not at all. Registering your VAT returns is an internet only option. I have constituents who have a round trip of over 20 miles uh, to register their VAT. Not terribly helpful to business. However, it's our goals that take us away from the cold, complicated computations and instead allows us to aim higher. Professor, uh, uh, President John F. Kennedy said, man is still the most extraordinary uh, computer of all. And it is man and the deliberations of men and women that make the difference. The Scottish Government has said the priorities of the budget are to accelerate economic recovery, continue the shift towards preventative uh, approaches to public service delivery, and maintain commitments to the social wage for Scotland, not something that is accepted in some other parts of this chamber. These are all crucial and viable goals from which the people of Scotland will only benefit. And the drafting, reviewing and debating process is an excellent time to ensure that these goals will be best met in the final budget. It's a time to debunk the idea that hacking off uh, parts of the social wage will build support for anything uh, other uh, than further decline economically, socially and in every other way. So let's continue to keep our goals for growth and sustainability in mind when we look closer at the Scottish Government's draft budget. We have 40 million for affordable housing, 18 million for skills training, 80 million for schools for the future. And these are investments in housing, training and schooling, investments in our future. I will. Gavin Brown. Sorry, the 80 million that you refer to for schools for the future, is that for next year's budget? Stuart Stevenson. You've read the budget as I have. You can see the number as I do. That 80 million for schools for the future is a very important part of creating the infrastructure that we need so that we have a trained, effective uh, population that is going to be able to seize the opportunities in future. And I think that's, that's the important thing. The the whole point is the investment plans are going directly to the people of Scotland suffering from the 2008 downward spiral with which we are now grappling all the way to 2018. It aims to expand the availability of housing and schooling, creating new jobs each year. Housing, skills, schools, the resources for recovery. Ah, the man who's lost his uh, sock at the end of the bed because he's getting another for Christmas. Ken McIntosh. Ken McIntosh. Thank you uh, for taking the intervention, Mr Stevenson. Can I, I think I'm trying to follow that metaphor. Uh, I, I'm pleased that Mr Stevenson says that the government should be measured by whether it achieves economic growth. But the government also claims to uh, a budget, this is a budget for jobs. So does Mr Stevenson think that the government should be measured by whether or not unemployment goes up or down either as a standalone measure or simply by comparison with the rest of the UK. Stuart Stevenson. Uh, the member may be somewhat unwise to uh, open up uh, the rest of the UK since across the piece we are doing a bit better. And that is without having the powers that would enable us to balance uh, taxation with expenditure in the way that a normal country would. Had we the full powers, then there would be a full range of levers that could be used economically to further address beyond the success that we've already, already have. We are investing in jobs in construction, skills in the green economy, 
That's in addition to the Green Investment Package with 30 million for fuel poverty, if energy efficiency, low carbon transport, and plans for the fossil fuel levy surplus to be used to establish the Renewable Energy Investment Fund. One All minute. steps in a right direction, bringing us closer to our climate change targets, green jobs, a green economy, certainly meeting our uh, goals of growth in addition uh, to sustainability, and more to come. Last year, 95% of the 2 million transport budget uh, was invested back into the private sector, supporting 12,000 jobs. Now let's plan to invest another 180 over two years into construction skills and the green economy. In my own constituency, £18 million will establish an energy skills academy, proudly taken forward by Banff and Buchan College. The economy is clearly going through a hard time, but not as hard a time as Ken McIntosh seems to be going through. His socks going to be empty unless he buys uh, accounting for dummies. That's what he really needs, presiding officer.